it. You gotta touch oh. your face. Oh, that's not gonna be. The table is in the way. Yeah. It is. It's just I'm being a wiener. There we go. Sorry guys, it's hard to. Oh, this one is still going. Okay. I was like, oh, okay, I just died. No worries. Excellent. <laughs> this uh. Holy crap! This took off quickly. Mm. I know. Instagram. Hey, friends. <laughs> I know, this is my Aww. second in-person live since everything opened up. Everything has been online, and yes. I'm hoping that you guys can hear us okay with the masks on, because it's fairly quiet in here. I'm sorry, but I've already done a live today that had ice cream involved, I so this saw is, this is going to be it's secondary. Gonna be like a letdown with, against ice cream? Dang. It is, but worse than that, I don't care if I'm oversharing, I just rough, rushedly made supper, and it had uh, raw shallots in it, so like onion. Oh, yeah. And nothing oh. good is happening <laughs> inside of here. Oh, no. Yeah, not yes. good. So, welcome to lives. We're doing those again. Oh, man. I know. This is my first one. I'm nervous. Didn't I, didn't I do a live? Oh, no, that no. was the adult rec video. Yes. I was like, something I could have sworn that I did a live at the studio before, but no, that was the that was the adult rec video for yeah. dance classes. It was. That's right. Which was also a good time. It was. It was very fun. I know. We are not dancing tonight. No. But we are talking about it. So we are here. Hi, Sylvia. Yeah. We are here with Melissa from Cobbaquid Dance Academy. And uh, just a couple of quick... <laughs> Tyson waving. From the other side of the country. Uh, look, you made me lose my train of thought. Oh, it is middle of the week, which means tomorrow the newsletter comes out. If you haven't signed up for it, you can do that at churrobuzz.com. And it is starting to fill up with actual events again. Nice. It's uh, it's pretty Yay. exciting. Yeah. It uh, comes out every Thursday morning. Is that oh. me? Oh, <laughs> that's my husband calling because he doesn't know what I do for a living. Damn it, or Todd. Or anything. Todd. God. Jeez. Every time. Every time. I do something. No, it's... You, you need to know. We are going to have a good. stern conversation yeah. after this. <laughs> so newsletter. If you haven't signed up for the newsletter, that comes out uh, tomorrow morning. You can sign up for it at churrobuzz.com. We actually do have a lot of events uh, happening. I'm so enthusiastic with my speech. I'm like pulling my mask down. <laughs> we have a lot of events coming up this week. And you can also see them on churrobuzz.com in the events calendar if you want more than a snapshot for the week. So... Knitting firm said, always the guy's name, Todd. Yes! <laughs> yes, Deb! Oh! Always. <laughs> always. I don't know a Todd I could throw under the bus right now, but I really <laughs> wish I did. So, that's hilarious. Aww. I hope you guys are enjoying all this heat. Uh, we were, you might have seen me earlier, we were at Novel Tea, where they have a new ice cream parlor that is so delightful. Have you yes. been? No, not because we were going to go, we missed it. Like, we went too late, but it's that's on right. the list of places to get to very soon. It is open seven days a week from 12 to 8 and it is at the Prince Street entrance of Novelty because you can get at it at both sides and they have homemade waffle cones and they make them every day and it smells amazing every time you walk in there. Nice. I'm telling you we need a candle that says that. Oh, oh my god Debs and Leela Parker. <laughs> That's hilarious. I know it's too small to see there. It's oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, we're, yeah, we're making fun of her husband that called in the middle of her life. Yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. It's fine. He forgets. It's, it's, okay. it's true. It's fine. Yeah. You can just go home and play this for him later. And just don't even say anything. Just I will. Play. That will be funny. He'll be embarrassed. <laughs> Excellent. So great. <laughs> So we are here talking to Melissa about the Cobbaquid Dance Academy. So hard to believe, but we are getting into the middle of August. It is the 12th, and that means that fall classes are rolling around. Yeah. So, so what does that look like for you guys this year? So uh, a little different, of course. I than no doubt. What it but would at least it's happening. happening. Exactly. It's happening. So the plan is that we're going to open as you know we normally would. We have registration opening up on Saturday for new students. So we always do a pre-enrollment with the returning students so they don't have to go through that registration process every year. Uh, yeah, it just kind of saves that bottleneck of mm -hmm. everyone trying to register. Um, so yeah, on our website, kabakudanceacademy.com, uh, registration will open online. We're doing a bit of uh, work at the studio to get things uh, opened up and uh, make it easier for traffic flow and whatnot. So we're not doing an in-person registration unless that's someone's only option. So 
if, um, if you don't have access to doing an online registration, you can send us an email or give us a call. All our info, everything is on the internet though. So <laughs> like, hopefully someone has some access There's to still the internet. phone books. I yeah. use mine to prop open the door. Okay. So there are some, yeah. you know, non-internet options. But anyways, we would certainly go in and meet with someone. We're not, we're just not doing a, a regular in-person registration. Well, it's just cutting down the amount of people coming in totally. too, right? There's always yes. exceptions. Yeah, for sure. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because we've got lots of classes going um is it your regular course model? it is we actually we're still running it's about 100 i think we're up to just under 150 classes a week oh that are gosh. running That's yeah so it's many. insane it's none of us sleep so um <laughs> <I can survive. laughs> but we have some new classes this year which is exciting so we um brought impact uh was contabulate impact choir they come under our umbrella so now it's CDA Impact Ensemble, uh, which is really exciting. So that's Brenna Conrad, um, Emma Smith Garrity, who's on our faculty um, already. So that's sort of their little baby. And um, so, if you're not familiar, what is that? It's okay. So it's a it's a youth ensemble, and it's vocals, like <clears throat> singing and dancing. So it's sort of musical theater based, but everything that they do has um, like a little bit more of a it's not just like, how can I explain this? This is not my baby, so I'm trying really sorry. hard. And I Brenna and Emma, class. I'm sorry if I say these things wrong. Basically, they, they do performances that hope to have some sort of positive impact on the community. So the songs that they choose are relevant to social issues or you know wow. that sort of thing, which is fantastic. Well, what an appropriate name. That makes total sense. Right. And so um, for up until this year, as far as I'm aware, it was open to kids in grades 7 to 12. And we've added like a junior group, so grades five and six can join. And that portion of it will be directed by Beth Terry. So oh Beth yay! Terry. Yes, and Love we have Beth many Terry. musicians taking place. So she's moved her program My into goodness. our studios. Beth, you are ambitious, right? Oh, there she goes. Beth, Beth! Ah! perfect timing. Yes, that's amazing. Allison, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> do these in my house by myself yeah no one will watch but if you, they well, do i'll get really excited apparently they will up. in fact oh my gosh so, so yeah so you're offering these new programs in addition to, the to our regular programs that is yeah a lot. did that go away what happened Come no it, oh, it just went okay. yeah which is weird it shouldn't do that i don't want to lose my spotlight <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's, it's so bright and so warm and we're just shining I'm in the basket in my mouth. i know um, it's uh it's crazy yeah i know like Darth Vader. Yeah, we're having an issue either. I, my face is weirdly proportioned so that it's either going under my chin or poking me in the eyeballs. Yes, and, and I have a child size <laughs> face, so none of the masks fit me at all. I just look. <laughs> have just you tried to crawl under the, the table? The cloth made ones up? No, well, I have some coming, like, yeah. like branded yeah. ones for the studio. Oh, so my fingers nice. are crossed that it fits fine. Um, so, yeah, so we've got, with our regular programming though, we've got. Um, we go right from 18 months up to adults. So we have really? what's in our 18 month to three year age range, it's parent and taught. So it's one parent per taught mm -hmm. in the room. And then once they reach age three, it's more independent. So it's creative movement and pre-ballet and it's progressive. Um, and I think too, this is something I've come across, um, I guess since we started because we're going into our seventh year, and it was interesting because Keith said oh, today wow. that they're going into their seventh year, and That's it was so true. funny because us and Novelty and The Nook, that little triangle, we all opened in the same, like at the same time. That's so it's funny. That's when perfect. I moved here. Yeah, I'm going into my seventh, well, I am in my seventh year now. It was six years in, yeah, yeah. six years in July. Amazing. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's hilarious. Yeah, it's such a nice, like, it's a good little yeah. triangle. I no like kidding. it. So, um... Oh yes, yeah. so in that time, I have come across occasions where um, I think people don't realize that we our program is recreational. So we do have a lot of students that go on to study post-secondary in dance. We have uh, two graduates just from this year who are going to the School of Toronto Dance Theater. Amazing. Um, yes, it's so awesome. And another grad who's going to uh, Sheridan, which Ooh. is great. So. <laughs> <laughs> are they still doing classes yeah. like I know uh, in, in those institutions I no know a of, they're a lot of them they're gonna have to wait until January which is unfortunate but at least is. they can keep training while they're here that's right 
Um, so we do have, yeah, so the majority of our programming is what I, what we would consider recreational. So a lot of kids that come once a week, uh, some come two or three times a week. But then we also have what's called our exam preparatory program, which is a more intensive uh, study program. Those kids are dancing like 12 to 16 hours a week. So there's a range of, of things and different avenues that kids can take to kind of, um, you know, study really intensely in a pre-professional stream or just, you know, come because they love dancing and they mm -hmm. want to, you know, have some activity once or twice a week. So there's a lot. There's a lot to uh, to pick from, and it's all on our Which website. Which is good. Just yeah, it's better than getting easy. pigeonholed to with a few things. Yeah. So if you're just tuning in, we're talking with Melissa from the Cobbequid Dance Academy, and we're talking about registration happening this year. So there's it's September the classes start, yeah. right? September 10th. Right. It's, yeah. So obviously, I didn't want to say they're starting now in August. No, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you have several different ways to register. They are focusing online or email or phone. Yeah. Uh, if you absolutely need an exception made to get into the studio, by all means, contact them uh, by phone or email and set something up. Yep. But they have a plethora <laughs> of programs to choose from, as well as age ranges. I had no idea that kids so young started that. Yeah, and so in within that programming, um, all of our early childhood movement programming, it's, it's not uh, strictly like they're not doing ballet technique. It's, it's movement-based activity that helps them, you know, just hear music, move to music, figure out body awareness, start some of that early patterning and that muscle memory so that, you know, it's things just, you don't think of, right? Totally. And it's great. I don't know, like, I especially love the creative movement, which is the three and four year olds, mm -hmm. because they're just so, like, they're mm -hmm. so inquisitive and so imaginative, and they say the weirdest things. <laughs> And it's fantastic, and they have so much fun, and all of the teachers in that program, that's, that's really their strong suit, and, um, you know, one of, our, one of our teachers in particular, early childhood education is part of their training, and so it's like, you know, it's a good, it's a good little step into right. the dance world and if they want to keep going great just burn off some energy if you got those really yes. energetic children at that age yeah definitely so if people were not familiar um if they are new students and mm -hmm. maybe now that some of the programs they had done previously are not operating in the fall or they're just looking to try something new yeah. you do have covid precautions in place 100%. in your classes do you want to talk about that yes sure and we just we just put our guidelines up on the website today um I took quite a long time putting it together because where things are rapidly changing, I didn't want to get sort of caught having to revise it 20 million times. Yeah. And also it's, I think it's really, um, I could make it so complicated. So I needed to take time to make it really clear and easy to follow. So basically, you know, it's going to be masks on when you're in common areas, hallways, bathrooms. Um, we do have staff that will be doing sort of hall monitoring and traffic control. Uh, we have one-way traffic flow because we're very lucky in the space that we're in that one of our exit doors, you can leave the oh, building. Fantastic. Like it's all very, it's not, you know, it's not like a fire door or something. It's mm -hmm. very easy. Um, you know, sanitizing station, sanitizer at every uh, studio. And we've staggered all of the classes and we put 15 minutes between each class. And of course, all of this um, is based on Nova Scotia's communities, culture, and parentage recommended guidelines. So we've had a lot of um, information come to us from that um, organization as well as Dance Nova Scotia. And I recently became a director on the board of Dance Nova Scotia. Congratulations. I'm very excited. That's and so fantastic. I really, I'm really excited because um, you know, I get to be sort of, it's quite a, quite a lot of um, HRM representation on the board. So I'm really excited that, you know, no kidding. That's amazing. Out of HRM. And Absolutely. so the resources just from them alone have been really great in helping us build this plan. So um, I'm just trying to remember. All yeah, no, go right ahead. Uh, oh, and social distancing, of course. And we're limiting like who can be in the studio, uh, things like that. I know I'm looking questions so yeah that's what I think. it's pretty it's so standard like mm -hmm. it's not anything um really like out of reach so the studios will be taped off and this is a really what's been really normal a lot of studios have um 
started their programming early um, or you know have done some summer stuff. We decided not to do summer programming so that we could do some renovations in the studio to create more space and that sort of thing. But um, the studios will all be taped with six by six squares. Uh, we have large enough spaces that children will have an empty square in front, behind, and on each side. Oh, wow. So loads of room to move even on the spot. Um, and really, for the like five and above age group, I wasn't really too worried. Like, they're in school. This is going to be a normal conversation. You know, it's not going to be so far fetched to have to, you know, social distance or whatever. It's the little kid classes that were really um, trying to, you know, be very cautious because it can be really scary, of course, for those kids. So they're used to coming in and holding hands and, you know, maybe even sitting on a teacher's lap or something like that. So we've been discussing different ways that we can keep that, you know, warmth in the studio and, and yeah, keep the them personal. separated. Big touch, but yeah, um, basically, definitely, and a lot of dance instruction is hands on mm -hmm. correction. So, even as teachers, it's been a challenge um, to figure out how to give all our corrections verbally. And some kids don't learn well that way, some kids definitely need that hands on yeah, correction. Turns. So, absolutely, yeah. so there will be some things that we have to navigate, but in terms of like the overall school and it's, and it's functioning, I, I'm really optimistic that it will be, you know, not, not easy. It's not going to be easy, but it will be manageable and mm -hmm. something that will be, you know, habit after a little bit. Yeah, that's right. It is, it's going to take a little time, but week after week, it gets easier that, I mean, some kids are in there two or three times a week. I exactly. know maybe yep. every day of the week. So yeah. Everyone's trying their best to adjust, so it's all about supporting local safely and trying to uh, adhere to the regulations per place. And I mean, if you're ever concerned, uh, confused, or concerned yeah. about the process, talk to someone about it. That's the only way we learn and figure things out. Exactly. And we have put in the option of um, taking your class online. So oh. if someone really doesn't feel comfortable coming in, even if it's like not illness related like if it's a snow day we have kids you know in great village that maybe can't mm -hmm. drive in but we are open they'll be able to send us an email and then we can send them a link to class so that's a fantastic option and then they're not missing that's right that's that's the thing kids get like stressed out if yeah. they think they're missing class so right. just a way to that's good to commit that much <laughs> right <laughs> love it got some pretty committed kids in there because that's what you were doing before it opened right you were doing classes for the students who were already registered and you moved it to online instruction we did so we didn't do our full schedule because we really felt that that would be overwhelming mm. um particularly for the teachers trying to teach from in their home um and then just for the kids like we we and I mean, this conversation has happened 90 million times. Like, not everyone has access to internet. Not everyone internet. has a device mm -hmm. at home. Um, you know, just all of those things that could be a barrier. So we didn't make it mandatory. It was just, if kids could tune in, great. If not, they weren't missing anything. Right. Um, so, but the kids that did have regular classes were our exam prep, like that intensive study group. Right. Um, so yeah, so it was quite a learning curve to have to just jump right in and be like, yes. all right, I'm going to teach, I have to teach you how to do this thing in my house. Right. Well, I kick a chair and yeah. like how many kids did we see kick chairs or trip over their rug or do something or. <laughs> I love all the people that have cats that are like, hey. Oh, all of the cats. All of the cats. The cats are amazing. And, yeah. Yes, definitely. It's hilarious. Yeah. So it's been, it's actually like as negative as it's been, it's, there's definitely been some positives and some ways that we've found we can kind of provide a little bit more of a positive customer experience by offering a few different scenarios to right. people. So, and it's yeah. giving a bit of normalcy that things continue, the classes you've been wanting to take exactly. or have been taking that you continue on, or if you're ready to try something new, then those options are there for you as well. It's super exciting that you have the online option for people who aren't comfortable coming into the studio or just like you said, yeah. weather related, not able to right. get in. Totally. And just even like, you know, let's, it, it, the adults in particular, like, you know, your childcare gets canceled or something. We can still take your yes. class. Yeah. Like you won't, know, you know, so I think it's, I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner to do that as an option. Well, because it's like, because you have enough on your plate. You have 150 it's different all, classes. Yeah, it's fine. I don't teach them all. No, I, I know, but still, yeah, I'm sure you oversee <laughs> some aspect of all of them. A little bit. 
It is. Yeah. So if you just turned in, we are talking with Melissa from Kavakwa Dance Academy and oh my goodness, it's slipping down. <laughs> and they uh, are on the cusp of opening their what day does registration open? On the fifteenth. So the 15th. like uh, I think nine AM. I should know that. I'm going to say 9 a.m. Early in the morning yes, on August 15th, registration is yeah. going to open for their fall classes, and they are offering their full roster for new students who are interested in coming in. Uh, Pre-registration is already happening for the, or is that happening? The returning students have already been pre -enrolled. Perfect, perfect. So they're taken care of. So this right. is for new students. Yeah. So if people are interested in seeing what classes you offer, what they can take, would they? where would they go? Just right to our website, and uh, when you... Get there, so it's kabakudanceacademy.com or just Google Kabaku Dance Academy. Um, a little light box will pop up, and you'll get three choices. You can check out dance registration, the impact ensemble, or mini musicians. Information will be available soon. Um, so yeah, just click that or click class schedule 2021, and everything's categorized like jazz, hip hop, nice. blah blah blah. Yeah. If you want a little teaser of some of the classes they offer, you can head over to turobuzz.com and check out the videos tab. Last year, I think yeah. it was last year, yeah. we went and did uh, the ballet class, and we also did the hip hop class as part of the Adult Rec series. Yes. And there's a whole playlist of Adult Rec series, and you can see our dance experience. <laughs> Don't judge you it. Did great. Don't judge it on that. <laughs> there are lots of lovely women at very different stages of dance yes. experience in there. It was a great time. And it is a great way to get out and move your body and interact with some great people. Totally. Our adult program is actually one of our most successful programs um, outside of our, you know, youth programming. It just, like, we have, we have women who had never danced before and who started back, well, six years ago anyways. I don't know that we had adult pro programming the first year. But that are still, like, they've progressed and they're still there and, like, they, it's amazing, and it they're is. doing amazing technique. Like, they're doing really well. <laughs> like, I take class occasionally, and they're, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I need to up my game because it's like they work so hard. Um, and then, of course, we always have brand new beginners every year, and I think it's so funny because um, this is a little off topic, but not really. So I love – um, snowboarding and I was I always wanted to snowboard my husband snowboards and he skateboards and as a teenager I was an avid um, skateboarder follow alonger I was a Betty and <laughs> <laughs> I was at the desk one night at the studio and these women were going into ballet class and they were there at the same time as all of the you know teenager buttheads with their, you know doing their stuff and I was like man okay if, if so if these women can never take a dance class in their life, walk into a dance studio in tights and a bodysuit and a skirt, hair in a bun, and be like, I'm doing this, I can I can learn to snowboard. And I did that winter. I was like, I'm doing this. Really? And so it's so, in, you know, it's so inspiring, but mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. It's like that little thing, if you put yourself out there and you take that little risk and go, okay, this is something I've always wanted to do, and it, I may not, you know, be super successful at it but you won't know like i yep. thought i was gonna fail hard at snowboarding you didn't it was good i have never tried i said this winter i was going to do it and i didn't and maybe next year will be the year what? i don't know we'll see i actually just watched that um bethany hamilton documentary on netflix the oh, surf the surfer uh, award winning surfer who lost oh, her yes, ass okay. yeah. and yes. it was like you watch that and it's like okay i have surfing. to go out and do oh. anything if she can do what she okay, did after yes. that incident, it's incredibly inspiring. Nice. Yeah, it's fantastic. Cool. Well, thanks so much for coming in and talking to us about this. No problem. Mel, this is fun. Kavakwa Dance Academy, if you're interested in registering for any of the multitude of classes they offer there, check out their website, which is? Kavakwadance.com, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I was like, is it Kavakwa Dance Academy? Uh, one of them is com. That's really long to say. But yeah. I'm pretty... Yes, yes. It's com. That's the other one. We are but prepared. they take you to the same spot. Perfect. I'm awesome at tech. <laughs> Registration's <laughs> happening next week for all of those. And you can check out the list of classes that they have. And if you're interested in registering or if you have any questions, you're able to do it on the phone. And uh, they have COVID measures in place for the upcoming mm -hmm. year. If you have any questions at all, 
shoot them an email or a phone or check them out on the website for sure. And I have no doubt that your classes will be as full as they normally are. So I'm really excited. It's, it's been nice too to get, long. Yeah, it's nice to get, to get back, back into it. A hundred percent. All the teachers are just like, their creative energy is like, oh, I need to. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope they're all going in, like, just absolutely yeah. twitching. Hi, kids. <laughs> I'm, sad. I'm sad we have masks on right now. little pep talk with them beforehand. Yeah, get it Slow out. And easy. Get it out. Yeah, or go in, go in gentle. <laughs> oh, we're back. Oh, God. I'm sure the kids are going to be the same way, though. Like, my oh. sister's kids who have multiple yes. classes, like, yes. just back to a routine. Yep. Back totally. to what they know. Yep. I'm, I'm excited. I think it will be great. I awesome. really do. Registration yeah. next week, Copy Quit Dance Academy. Thanks for coming in, bud. Thanks for having That's me. Air high five. All right. Uh, nice. All right. You guys, thanks for tuning in for our two lives this week. Uh, yeah. You can catch the earlier one if you didn't see it, where I was at Novelty uh, dining out at their new ice cream bar with their homemade waffle cones, a gourmet waffle cone mm -hmm. you don't want to miss. And yeah, who knows? What, oh, I don't want to say about next week yet because I haven't got it fully confirmed, but if you're a parent, and you're going back to have a kid going back to school, you might want to keep an eye for our next Live at the Hive announcement. I'm awesome. just saying. <laughs> have a good week. Stay cool. It's pretty hot out there. And thanks for tuning in.